Hello everyone, I'm Zyphe. In this video, we're going to be showing y'all how to upload your card game to Tabletop Simulator. This process is actually very easy, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have Steam open with Tabletop Simulator, as well as wherever you have your cards at. For me, it's in the D drive, Pixacree, Cocta. That is it. Cocta is also short for cocktail. I just, I hit enter accidentally and didn't whatever. All right, so now go to Steam, then right click on Tabletop Simulator, hover over Manage, and then click Browse Local Files. That'll open up a new file explorer. And then from there, all you have to do is click Modding, and then click Deck Builder, and then open up the TTS Deck Editor. From there, click New Deck, and then you can choose the width and height. That is how many cards are in each row, X amount of rows. So if it's width 10, that's 10 rows or 10 cards across seven cards down so it'd be 70 total cards when you're done with that just click ok now you should just see a blank square you just start uploading your cards just drag and drop the cards over and it'll start populating and then it'll show the rows i don't know why it does that but whatever i'm not the program developer so now i'm just gonna start dragging and dropping random pixie cards if y'all don't know about that the link will be in the description below check it out it, it helped me out and boom now once you hit the very last card for me it's 70 you can upload the back of the card image if you want and it'll auto populate it might make things easier or you can either leave it blank or fill it up with a card. It doesn't matter. I'll be teaching you all the differences as we go on anyway. Now, once you're done, go ahead and click file, then save deck as, and then save it wherever you want it to be. This way, if you need to open it up later, you can. Once you save it, go ahead and click file again, click export, and then export it as Imgur. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really touch this at all. You can mess around with it if you want, but just the base settings should be fine. And the hard part's done. Now go ahead and hit up Steam. Click on Tabletop Simulator, click Play Tabletop Simulator, click Play again, why? And now you got the luxury of waiting for it to load, and then once it loads, just click Create, then click Single Player. Now from here, if you want, you can click Objectives and then click Tables and customize the table if you want. I'm not going to do any of that just because this is just to show you the basics on uploading your cards. Then you just click on Objectives, Components, Cards. And then custom deck. If you do custom card, you can only upload one. So just go ahead and click custom deck. Now that you're in the custom deck, go ahead and click the folder on face. Now simply navigate to where you saved your deck editor file. Click on it. Click open. And then you click cloud. Do not click on local. If you do, no one else will be able to see it besides you and those that use your personal computer. So make sure to click cloud. Now for the back, if the last card you put in the deck editor file was the back of the card, then you can technically skip this part. If you either left it blank or added a normal image, then you can click on the folder icon, navigate to the back of your cards, and then click cloud again. Make sure you set the width and height to the exact same that you used in the editor, and then add the number of cards that you added to that file. So if you used up all 70, then make the number 70. If you only use 53, keep it at 53, and you're good to go. If you want the card sideways, obviously click the check mark on sideways. Back is hidden is where you check if you did not use the last card on the deck editor as the back of your cards. If you either left it blank or added a creature instead of using the back of your card make sure to check this on that way when people hold the cards in their hands it'll show up as the back of the cards and not either a blank image or whatever image you use as the last slot in the deck editor and now for the fun part you click import and then simply wait for it to be fully loaded you can check up there at the middle top ish area and bada bing bada boom you now have your deck inside of tabletop simulator congratulations it's honestly not that hard now you can invite friends and play your card game with them if you found this video helpful please go ahead and like comment subscribe as well as share it that would be awesome and make sure to join our community it's gilda.gg slash tcg once again gilda.gg slash tcg it would be awesome to have more people in there so if you're making a card game or you like card games check us out.